Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron, and before we get into this video, I would just like to thank Captain Beats for this commentary, the topic that I'm doing today, the idea, and that gets me into the statement, if you guys want to see a certain video, if you guys want to hear a certain commentary, want me to talk about something, let me know in the comment section. It doesn't matter what video it is. It could be this video, the video after that, and I mean, I wouldn't go too deep into my past videos because it could be lost. But yeah, any video, just tell me what you want me to talk about. If you want me to talk about a certain product, anything, I will let you know. So what we're going to be talking about today, if you cannot already tell by the title, is the Alienware Alpha also known as the steam machine or a steam machine and let me tell you what this thing is so it's a very small compact console like gaming PC and it's relatively affordable it starts out at four hundred dollars and that does get you access to be able to play some games at decent frame rates and without too much lag it's actually really good for the price but I'm looking here and what you're going to be getting with an Alienware Alpha is you're going to be running the Steam OS on top of Windows 10 or Windows 10 on top of the Steam OS, which means your system's going to be bogged down a little bit. You're going to be running low on resources, especially with this base $399 configuration, which comes with a dual core i3 processor, uh, Windows 10, like I said. 4 gigabytes of memory or RAM, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. That does sound pretty good to the outside user, but it's not too good. You know what I mean? It's not it's not bad, but it's not the best. If I were you and I were going to get this, I would step up one extra $100, and what that gets you is 8 gigabytes of memory and a 1 terabyte hard drive, same processor, and also Windows 10. And you also get a mouse and keyboard included. Now, I do think the 8 gigabytes of memory is needed because you're also having to run Windows 10. Although, I've heard that you can somehow boot in the BIOS to go straight to the Steam OS. Like, it doesn't boot to Windows 10. And you don't have to mess around with that. But this is technically a computer. It's just in console form. And it's supposed to be, like, in your living room. That's the idea. So you can play PC games in your living room. You don't have to sit next to a desk. You know what I mean? So, yes, it's really good. I really like it. It looks beautiful, and it would go good on any desk or living room. And it's a good console replacer because even if you opt for the lower end, 399 yes, you are getting uh, less memory than up-to-date consoles like the PS4 and the Xbox One. But you're going to get a better experience because you're going to have a little bit more flexibility with games. You're going to be able to play custom zombies, something I praise on this channel. And that's really good. That's something that console players do not get. And that's something you could have for roughly the same price. But like I said, I would opt for the $499 model because it does come with 8 gigabytes of memory and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Now, if you're looking at this and you're like, a dual core processor is not that good, you will be right. Dual core processors are not the best, um, especially an i3 dual core, and I'm pretty sure this is a low voltage dual core too. Uh, let me see if I can see real quick. Um, yeah, uh, and something else I haven't talked about, which I will talk about here in a second. Um, it does come, which is a good thing, the hard drive is 7200 RPM. I actually thought that was going to be a 5400 whenever I first heard about the low one starting at 400 bucks, but you are getting a relatively quick hard drive you're also getting wireless uh you will get a keyboard alienware keyboard with all of them i just realized i just saw that there uh and now we're going to be talking about the graphics card now that's the biggest thing and on the alienware website it doesn't really tell you too much about the graphics card it just says it's an nvidia geforce gtx gpu with two gigabytes of ddr5 memory um, that could be a number of graphics cards, but if I had to guess, for the price, this is probably a 750 Ti, or maybe even an 860 uh, graphics card, and that's good, but some AAA titles, like if you're going to be playing GTA 5, might struggle. You might have to turn your settings down to low. Now, a lot of people look at this and they're like, oh man, I lag all the time playing my PC games. You got to remember, this is supposed to be a console quote unquote replacer. So you're not going to be playing at high graphics and extreme. You're going to want to find the sweet spot, probably like a medium on most things, and maybe one or two options you can set up to high 
and you're probably not going to get any anti-aliasing at all. You're just going to have to play it basically like a console, and it's technically a console. That's what they want it to be as. You, they want the experience to be like a console, but still be able to have access to PC games and mods. One of the best things ever, and you can get that on tons of games. Tons of games have mods. Uh, that's the only thing about this that I see uh, is kind of weird. Now, back to that dual-core processor, you can opt for a quad-core, and that will start you off at $600, $599.99. You will get a i5 quad core, which is plenty good enough for gaming. Uh, Windows 10, 8 gigabytes of memory, and a one terabyte hard drive. Uh, that's really good, actually. But for the price, I feel like you could have a better system built. But if you're really just looking for space saving, maybe, it might be where you're wanting to go. If you have enough money to get that and you want to add an extra $100 and get yourself an i7 processor, also quad core, you can do that. But I think at that point, for $700 for this, it's not really worth it. That's why I'm saying the sweet spot is right there at $500, $499.99. That gets you 8 gigabytes of memory and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Now, all of these models offer the same graphics card, which I think is a little strange. I feel like the one that's 700 should offer something a little bit better, but it doesn't. You know what I mean? They just, you gotta, you gotta get what you get. And uh, luckily enough, all these um, consoles, if you will, do come with a mouse keyboard, like I said, and they offer a fair amount of ports. And really for a console, they offer more ports than consoles would. I mean, there's an HDMI out, an HDMI in, and optical audio and DC in or power. Um, it's nice, but the one thing that I would have to say negative about this entire thing is that you can't upgrade it. It's not like a PC. Like, if you threw $500 into a PC, no, it would not be perfect, and it probably would play just about or if not worse than the Alienware Alpha, you are making some savings by not having upgradability and also in this small form factor. But the thing is with this is that you can upgrade it and I would much rather if you're going to get something that's going to sit somewhere, just build yourself a desktop and upgrade it as you go. Like if you're like, okay, I need more power or I need more graphics. I, I want to play at 60 frames on the highest settings. You can always opt to getting another graphics card. That's something that this system does not allow you to do. There is no upgrade ability. So tell me what you think down below. Uh, if this was a good topic, thanks Captain Beats. Great topic. Let me know some other topics down below. My name's Aaron. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.